Hi guys, welcome back to the Anonymous Teacher. Um, so today we are going to be having some fun and making a pudding. So let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, we are going to be starting out with a lovely piece of wood from our garage. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody just has a spare piece of wood lying around, so this is completely recycled. The next thing we are going to need is a hammer, handy, handy hammer. Then we're going to need some string. I'm sure everybody has a few pieces of string. can be anything as long as it's a little bit thick um, so that we will have some support when we make our pulley. The next thing is your basic pencil. This one's nice because it's actually square shaped. The next thing that we're going to need is some U-nails. These are pretty handy and you can get them at any hardware store. But we just had them lying around. Next, you're going to need this handy instrument. It's actually a square ruler so that you will be able to measure straight. Then just a normal ruler. And last but not least, either a pair of scissors or carpenters now. Okay, so now that we have gotten our equipment and our different resources that we're going to need for this, we are going to head straight into step one. So step one is going to require you having your rulers, both of these, as well as your pencil. Okay, so the, the measuring of this is going to be a very important step because it's going to determine where you put your U-nails and also will be handy so that we don't make it too far apart or not too close together. Yeah, let's get to it. So you'll see what I did here is on this side of the plank of wood I have measured six centimeters up and I've measured from here to here six centimeters down so that is going to be our markers for what we use for the next apparatus which is this basically you're going to line it up and then you're going to draw a line from here all the way across to the other side so that they are nice and straight let's do it all right, now we have some beautifully straight lines across our piece of wood. We're going to go ahead and measure where we want our points to be, our U nails. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, lovely. So we have now measured from this side to this side, 15 centimeters. From this side of your piece of wood to this side, 15 centimeters as well. So there we have a lovely gap that has formed. And yeah, now we can move on to our next step. Let's go. Okay, well done guys. If you have tracked so far, we are done with our measuring. Now we are going to move on to the application of our U nails. Let's do it. Okay, so for this step, you'll see I have laid out the U nails for you. And basically what we want to do is we want this side of the U nail to go around like that. So there's your marker. You will be putting this side of your u-nail here and for this one here's your marker and you will be putting this side of your u-nail there and then we can get to the fun part the hammering okay guys so for this part of the process i do suggest that you get an adult's help and supervision when doing this and yeah let's have some fun and nail these guys in Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to place it nicely on there and then you're going to be very careful with your fingers and just simply and now let's do the other side let's go Okay, well done guys, you got the hard part out of the way. Now, we are moving on to our string. The measuring specifically of our string and then the cutting of our string. So, stay tuned. Okay, awesome. So, as you can see, I have actually taken out the string and wrapped it around my pulley system. And this is just to ensure that there is enough string and that we don't run out of string when we are trying to tie the rope around the object that we are trying to pull or pick up now for this 
For this specific case, we're going to try and use my glasses cases to see if we can lift them using the pulley system. So we have to make sure that I have enough string to wrap around this, um, this glasses case. Okay, let's do it. Now basically measured out the string and I've got it where I want it to. Remember, it's always good to leave a little bit extra on the end just in case you never know maybe you measured wrong so let's go ahead and cut this okay so again for this step i do suggest that you inquire about help from an adult and be safe with sharp objects okay so we've measured now and we're going to take our carpenter's knife or just a pair of scissors and cut it but for me today i'm going to be using a carpenter's knife for which you will just simply cut it simple okay guys well done you guys have done the hard part now is the fun part let's get to assembling everything and putting it all together and then we've made a pulley system so let's get to it so once again you're going to loop through your string just through both of the holes like such this is going to be the part that you are going to pull on and yeah, then we just need to wrap our cable around our object. So let's do that quick. Okay guys, so now is the moment of truth. We really want to see if this pulley works. So let's have a go. And whoop! And we'll go down, yes. Okay, cool guys. Okay, so there you have it. Your functioning pulley. Well done guys and enjoy this fun experiment. See you later.